Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new WWE Wreck and Rampage rig. Just check this thing out. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, packaging here. And then we're going to take a look at the product itself. It's got 11 breakaway pieces. It's the Wreck and Rampage rig right there. Age is 5 plus. Or 6 plus. Shit, my bad. The crane extends 45.72 centimeters. That is also 18 inches. You get a QR code right there for something. You get some cool uh, cool artwork here on the front. It's a little cartoony, a little stupid, but it looks all right. I'm not sure if this thing comes with that belt or not. We'll figure that out here in a second. You got Drew McIntyre on the front, Roman Reigns. You got your launch in action. We got this for that price right there. It Break, wreck, and ball, and capture the championship. You got Damian Priest right there. You got the vehicle half fucking destroyed all over the place. There's all the parts that can come off. There's Big E just hanging out. There's The Miz. There's Rey Mysterio flying. More Drew McIntyre action. You got your wrecking ball. This thing may come with a ladder. We'll find out here in a second. Holy shit, it does come with a ladder. That's awesome. So you get the big rig, you get the ladder, you get the ball, and you do get the championship belt. Fuck yeah. And the crane turns 360. So, now that the box has been inspected, let's, uh, let's open it. Okay, so we now have the big wrecking rig unboxed. And let's check out, let's just check out some of the details on the product itself so this thing was pretty easy to open you just cut one side of the box it opens right up and just pulls right out it's not really stuck in there too too good but this thing's pretty sweet i'm glad i'm glad i could get this for a good price i originally bought this for me and my kid to have for our gi joes it looks like it will scale pretty well with them i mean it should but uh yeah, so that's why I got this thing, and for 15 bucks, I sure as hell couldn't pass on it. Need some uh, customization done to it. But we'll take care of that whenever that time comes. So anyway, that's enough talking. Let's talk about this fucking thing. It doesn't have any working lights or anything. They're just stickers on the front, and the back doesn't even have them, but that's cool. Not a big deal. You can always add lots to these yourself. You can put like LEDs inside here or, some, or something, you know. Or even LEDs on the bottom. Whatever you want to do. But yeah, so the doors, they open. They open pretty easily just like this. The doors on both sides, in fact, open. And I think these doors can like break away. It feels like it can break away. This, this top piece here can flap up and down. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but we'll figure it out. I think somebody's supposed to stand there and get flipped. I'm not sure. The top here, it's like breakaway. You just, you just hit that. Oh, I see. Here, here check this out. So the, so the top here is breakaway or the front, the hood. So the hood's breakaway. Check this out, yeah. Hit it, that shit goes flying. So that's cool. And I think this, yeah, the entire, the entire front bumper piece comes off. But it came, it came with the bumper on. Pop it. And so this here can come off and you can probably put something else there. You can customize it that way too. Or you can pop that off and just paint it. You get this, uh, you get this like, metal box crate here on the back it doesn't open or anything it'd be cool if it did and all the wheels they turn i'll just show it to you real quick and they're just a uh, plastic solid piece no rubber no nothing like that good average details on the bottom i mean hell this thing was retail for 50 bucks i got it for 15. here's where the crane's gonna go i'm assuming and this thing it can do can do a full 360 and it just ratchets around like so. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug this thing in. It, lo it looks like it's gonna go that way. 
And if not, then it's going to go this way, something. There we go. It just plugs right in like that. Nice and secure. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, yeah, so the doors break away right here. Before we go any further, here is the accessories inside, or some of them. Looks like you get a light to go on top. I guess that breaks away. You get a chain. It looks like that's a real metal chain this thing comes with. And then it comes with a decent looking WWE Championship. And you get this uh, ball crate thing. But here's the actual metal ball itself that it comes with. It's not that awesome looking, but I mean, it's, it is what it is. A little cheap plastic piece. It opens up. It can close, it can be suspended from the thing here, you know. It can be hanging there, you can put somebody in there, whatever you want to do. And then you get the uh, the exhaust pipes here. They should just plug onto the sides like this. Let's see. Yeah. Damn it. Well, let's try the other side. Yep, plugs in just like that. I just had it on the wrong side. And then that one there, it will plug in right there. Easy enough. Okay, so here's the ladder it comes with. And I just realized that mine is missing this. This piece is missing off this side. So that's kind of shitty. Huh. Well, f I mean, for 15 bucks, what can you do? I mean, this ladder is not the best in the world anyway. It'll still stand. It's all right. But it's, I mean, it's a ladder we, I'm pretty sure they've put out before. It's just like that breakaway ladder that came with that Kevin Owens figure from like Elite 94 or whatever the hell it was, or 93. It's like that ladder, same detail, same color, but it's not breakaway. Ladder, I mean, shit, you, need, you can never have too many ladders and chairs and tables and all that stuff. So then next, we're going to open up this baggie of accessories. Um... Instruction booklets, I guess. If you don't want to watch my video, you can just buy the damn thing and read these, I guess. So here's the instructions it comes with. They're pretty fucking simple. And yeah, we're not going to look too hard at these because they're, they're going to cut into the business. Anyway, let's check all this stuff out. Get the trash out of here. So... Fucking stuck. There we go. So this thing, it was stuck together. Maybe it's meant to be off-centered and fucked up like that because I cannot get it to be any other way. I might need those instructions to figure out what the hell to do with this. You get two of these. You get two of these chains, chain hooks right here. You can hook them together. They're going to help us with the ball, I guess. But they're cool. They both look the exact same. Not the best detail in the world, not the worst. And here's that real chain we get, looking pretty sweet. The end here is plastic. I could use these in my Hellraiser diorama, actually. But I don't think they'll look as good. They need to include real chains with more stuff. Just, I mean, every, I mean, not just Mattel, but every, every company. Fuck yeah. Here's the light, uh, red lights, caution lights that go on top. I'm assuming they'll just plug right in. We'll check that out in a moment. But here's the details on it, the colors. You know it's red with where, where the light part is. And hey, you could uh, you could put LEDs in these and make them light up pretty neat. And then it's silver here in the middle with like a vent, vent look to it. Here's that WWE Championship. Definitely glad to have this. I didn't know it was gonna come with this uh this belt, and it would be a nice belt. Looks pretty good. Good shiny on the side plates. Kind of shiny right there. Feels really good and textured. Just a good looking belt. Not too plain. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Okay, here's that ball we've already looked at and talked about. Let's try and get it, get it swinging here. Hmm. Well, first off, we're going any further. This right here, it ratchets up and down. It's pretty stiff. It's not real loose or anything. It can come down like that far. It looks pretty sweet. And then, of course, we can pop that thing back up. 
This thing's gonna be fucking awesome. I can't wait to get get this thing going. Fuck. We got the chain hanging. You can just use these hooks if you want to and hook it through right there. Everybody see that? Maybe kind of. But anyway, it just loops right on there and then the chain it just hangs. Like any other fucking chain would. Just put that into the hook. Through right there. And you got yourself a swinging wrecking ball. <sighs> There's what that looks like. Pretty sweet. Let's put this light on top. Let's see how in the hell. It's just gonna, yeah, it just plugs right on. It just sits right on top, nice and easy. But still not sure where this shit's gonna go. Let me, let me refer back to the uh, instructions real quick. Now let's see, you just, these pegs right here just line up to these holes and it plugs in right on each, one, one on each side. So there's that side. And then I'm gonna reach over and do this side. Get a look, let's take a look at the interior, shall we? We'll just take the whole door off, fuck it, it pops off. I might just leave that off. So there's some of the details inside. Trying to get a good look in there. Um, the seats, they look okay. It'd be cool if they were like soft or some shit. You get a steering wheel in there. Uh, you got like a gear shift right there. Like an emergency brake detail. You can barely tell because it's all the same color. You get like the console right there on the inside. You got some details on that door. Not really. It's the same non-existent ones as this door. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what figures can fit in here and how they look. We'll start off with Dr. Jones here. Let's see how Dr. Jones sits. Um, he sits all, I mean, he sits okay. He's right there at the steering wheel. I mean, it's a big rig. Here's what he looks like on the inside. He looks pretty good, actually. Now let's take a look at what CoverGirl looks like chilling inside, huh? So there's what cover girl's gonna look like. Yeah, it looks okay. Here's what here's what an Outback Hulk would look like standing next to it. For a size comparison, you know. You could have him you could have him up top here like he's smashing the fuck out of the uh the hood here. So this so this outback hulk's fucking huge, dude. No, what the heck? Well, here's what here's what a six inch scale Marvel Legend Amazing Fantasy Spider Man looks like standing on the outside of the vehicle. And there's Spider Man if he were to stand on top of it. And it's a pretty, pretty good scale here, I think. It's pretty nice. The vehicle. And yeah. Looks pretty good. And just to show it off, you can put people on both sides, obviously. There he is, sitting way over there. Looks pretty sweet. And then here's that back on top, just chilling, like I said. This is going to be for G.I. Joes. You can sit or stand them on the back just like this, and then be posed up with their rifles for battle. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be awesome. I might have to paint this damn thing green or something. We'll see. And then here's how Tiger Force Outback looks like, standing on the outside next to it. I mean, he scales, he scales pretty well with this, just like the other figures have. I'm sure he'll look good sitting inside of it. Hell yeah, that's the best look yet. Check that out. At the end of the day, once it's all said and done, uh, I do highly suggest picking this vehicle up for your G.I. Joes. It's a lot cheaper than a fucking Haslab price. I mean, even if you pay the 50 bucks, even if you pay the 50 bucks, you're still getting one hell of a deal. I mean, there's no lights on it, no sound, just got some breakaway pieces. I mean, it can it, it can be customized into a weathered vehicle. Like you can put whatever in the hell you want to on it. You can paint this thing up. I'll probably end up doing that to mine. The GI Joe's, they scale perfect with it. Fucking perfect. And it's a vehicle for a cover girl just to fucking do maintenance on with her wrench anyway. 
So we're gonna work on putting this door back on and shit. So we give this thing an eight out of ten. It's 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 definitely worth it. It's worth fifty bucks. If you don't have to pay fifty bucks, then don't pay thirty, pay fifteen, whatever. So go look for this thing. Hit up Target. Hit up Walmart. It might have been at Walmart. I can't remember. Got mine at Target on clearance. Check your clearance aisles. Um, watch some more videos. Like, subscribe, uh, leave comments. Let me know if you hate this content. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what I can do better. And we will see you all uh, for the next video. Peace out.